The next nominee for Best Musical follows two young Mormon missionaries as they travel from their homes in Salt Lake City to a poor and desolate village in northern Uganda. After witnessing the brutality of a local warlord, one of the Mormon boys starts to lose faith in his religion. But instead of abandoning his church, Elder Price decides to double down and reaffirm everything a Mormon believes. Here to perform, I believe, is Tony nominee Andrew Rannells from the Book of Mormon. Since I was a child, I tried to be the best. So what happened? My family and friends all said I was blessed. So what happened? It was supposed to be all so exciting to be teaching of Christ across the sea. But I allowed my faith to be shaken. Oh, what's the matter with me? I've always longed to help the needy to do the things I never dared. This was the time for me to step up. So then why was I so scared? A warlord who shoots people in the face. What's so scary about that? I must trust that my Lord is mightier and always has my back. Now I must be completely devout. I can't have even one shred of doubt. I believe that the Lord God created the universe. I believe that he sent his only son to die for my sins. And I believe that ancient Jews built boats and sailed to America. I am a Mormon, and a Mormon just believes. You cannot just believe part way. You have to believe in it all. My problem was doubting the Lord's will instead of standing tall. I can't allow myself to have any doubt. It's time to set my worries free. Time to show the world what Elder Price is about and share the power inside of He just walked right into camp. I believe that Satan has a hold of you. I believe that the Lord God has sent me here. And I believe that in 1978 God changed his mind about black people. Black people, you can be a Mormon. And I feel so incredible to be sharing my faith with you. The scriptures say that if you ask in faith, if you ask God himself, you'll know. But you must ask him without any doubt and let your spirit grow. It's all true, you'll just feel it. You'll be a Mormon, and by gosh, a Mormon just, just believe. A Mormon just believe. A Mormon just I
coming up. This evening, the award for best sound design of a musical went to Brian Ronan. I wouldn't be standing here if not for Bobby and Larry's great music sung by that cast, played by that band, conducted by Stephen Aremus. It was phenomenal. The nominees for best performance by an actor in a featured role in a musical are Rory O'Malley, The Book of Mormon. The American Theater Wings Tony goes to John Larroquette. How to succeed in business without really trying. And now the nominees for Best Book of a Musical are Trey Parker, Robert Lopez, and Matt Stone for the Book of the Book of Mormon. And the Tony Award goes to the Book of Mormon. With his first foray onto Broadway, co-writer Matt Stone accepts the Tony for the Book of Mormon. He also won earlier for original score. Wow. Uh, well, we want to congratulate all the nominees and everybody, and thank everybody for this. Um, specifically, I want to thank my wife, Angela, and the rest of my family, and all the South Park fans out there. Thank you. Uh, Trey and I and Bobby also want to thank um, Ann Garofino, our producer, who was just amazing every step of the way. The Book of Mormon would not have happened without Ann, and she's a great producer and a great friend. And Scott Rudin, who probably every single person in this room knows, uh, is relentless and passionate, and thank you for caring, Scott. So thanks, everybody. Here's Trey. Oh, thanks. I just want to say thank you, John Bazzetti. You're the greatest agent in the world. Um, and, uh, and Stephen Aremus and everyone that worked on the music. And thank you for, thank you, thank you, Mom, Dad, Katie and Annie, and especially Kristen for all the love and the notes. We wrote this over many years with a really talented cast, and so uh, we have to share this with them because we wrote it around them. And uh, I also want to thank Casey again for just being such an awesome director. And uh, thank you. Welcome, Emmy, Grammy, Oscar. Costume design of a musical went to Tim Chappelle and Lizzie Gardner. It is crazy backstage. It's mental. I saw the casts of Sister Act and the cast of Book of Mormon get in a fist fight. <laughs> I was like, oh my gods. Earlier, the award for best scenic design of a musical went to Scott Pask. I mean, I... I started designing t-shirts for my high school or my junior high swim team. The award for best lighting design of a musical went to Brian McDevitt. I feel every path in my career and life has led me to this show, to this evening, and to this celebration. The best performance by an actor in a leading role in a musical, and the nominees are Josh Gad in The Book of Mormon. Andrew Reynolds in The Book of Mormon. Tony Sheldon in Priscilla, Queen. This is the best musical and it's, come on, who, we know what the best musical is. This is such a waste of time. It's like taking a hooker to dinner, okay? It's just like, <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're gonna get laid. You're gonna get laid uh, before I, Ladies and gentlemen, the nominees for the best musical are the Book of Mormon. I am a Mormon, and the Mormon trust moves. And the winner is the Book of Mormon. Wow! Accepting the award for the Book of Mormon, director Trey Parker. Thank you. Uh, this has been really, really cool. Um, I think we, we did this because we all secretly wanted to have a big, happy Mormon family, and uh, now we do. And so, um, to everyone up here and everyone in the circle of doom over there, um, <laughs> to uh, Andrew Reynolds and Josh Gad, you guys are amazing. Um, we want to... Uh, 
I know that on behalf of this big Happy Mormon family, we really want to thank the audiences because you guys made this show what it is. And uh, therefore, you're going to have to atone for it one day. Uh, it's yours now. Um, it's your responsibility. And um, I think the night would be a big uh, disappointment if we didn't thank our co-writer who passed away, Mr. Joseph Smith, the founder of the Mormon religion. He couldn't be here tonight, but you did it, Joseph. You got the Tony. Congratulations. That's it, everyone. That's our show. So wait, tomorrow... Norbert Leo Butt sang and danced and tried to catch you, coming at you, chasing Trey and Casey because they nabbed a Tony statue. Commencing in the Chattanooga station from the... It takes a lot for a recipient to humble me, but everybody cried for gorgeous Nikki James the Bumblebee. Andrew Rannell sang, I believe Annie landed it so well, now he's Mitt Romney's VP candidate. Mormon swept the floor, won even more awards than Warhorse.